Hey, happy Sunday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, I'm going to give you the latest update on what's going on with the newly formed since yesterday Hurricane Oscar and what is coming around the corner. Now, you do see a couple of the guidance models taking this towards Florida. Florida, do not worry. This is not anything coming towards you. If it was to go away from the rest of these ensembles where it's trending and come in your direction, it will get shredded by the shear and just be some tropical moisture maybe it's just a group of disorganized thunderstorms it's not going your way this is going out through the east northeast getting pulled by this trough getting sheared severely after it leaves now it is impacting southern bahamas right now and it is going towards cuba and unfortunately i believe it's the whole island 10 million people without power still at cuba because of their infrastructure problems right now but this is going to be a hurricane that's going to mile down right after landfall become a tropical storm stay a tropical storm as it goes away towards the bahamas showing it can stay a tropical storm as it leaves out through southern bahamas by turks and caicos bringing y'all some surge as well but this is not a big threat coming into our western caribbean being a major hurricane none of that is true everybody this is going out through the west by a high pressure it would keep it to the west and keep it shredded and weak Plus, the shear coming at the same time is going to keep this storm weak as well. I will show you the latest information. Plus, what's coming next? Because Nadine is still going in the Pacific, still being that strong hurricane potentially. But what's coming next is going to be a pattern where we're going to go into a high ridge. We're going to get a high pressure revolving around here, around Bermuda. And this is where the storm system could either come into this direction or the high pressure can move further over towards the southeast and it could help this storm system go into that direction. So I will show you the latest pattern because we're going into a very thick pattern as we go into November where another strong storm is forming. Now you're still in a hurricane warning in all of the red area and your hurricane watch all the way up the coast of Cuba and a tropical storm watch as well and tropical storm warnings over here for eastern islands. Showing so far what you're going to get out of it for southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, anywhere from 50 to 100 millimeters or or two to four inches and four to six inches over here for eastern cuba or 100 to 150 millimeters matter of fact when you look at the latest intensity guidance you see it's not going to strengthen past a cat one hurricane so the rest of that in the caribbean just isn't true everybody but it's either going to be a tropical storm after landfall or it's going to remain a hurricane after landfall it all depends how much interaction of the higher mountains this system gets into and does that center of the eye actually stay over water or over over landfall okay, if it stays over water there's a good chance it could stay a cat one hurricane as it goes through the bahamas as it leaves out east northeast but if the eye goes over landfall it will be that tropical storm that tropical depression as it passes by cuba and goes out through the east and you can see the guidance tracks here so you do have a couple that show it could go towards florida florida if this would happen it would be a very weak very sheared group of disorganized thunderstorms it would not be a hurricane coming towards you that would not be true we still have this over here going to the east northeast now you can see this when you look with the ural showing it will go out through the east northeast and you can also see with the gfs and the gfs shows there's still some ensembles that could go towards the west none of those show towards florida not even when you check with the canadian none of those shows towards florida because other than a high pressure you will have that trough coming in bringing in all this shear on that system and right after it gets by cuba it's going to get sheared heavily look at that and it's going to weaken that system down so if it was to go to the west it would get sheared so bad it'd just be a group of thunderstorms and you wouldn't even notice it should be some extra rainfall as that goes out look how that shear just stays there the whole time there's no way that can go to the west and affect your florida plus you can see you also have this high pressure here so if it wasn't going out through the east it would get pulled through the west southwest it would not go into that direction and you see how high pressure stays there the whole time just would not go towards florida you can see this when you look with the latest with the euro so as you see oscar coming towards cuba here comes that trough trying to rip it apart and you see the high pressure trying to pull it to the west as well so you might get a little bit of the tropical moisture pulled to the west but at the same time you can see how that shear just bombs that system and pushes it out through the east so you do need to watch out for the bahamas because it is showing as it gets pulled out it could try and intensify one last time for southern bahamas bringing you maybe some stronger winds as it leaves out we got the hurricane models back again so you see the hurricane analysis a it weakens 
But then it tries to strengthen one last time as it's leaving out by the Bahamas. So the Bahamas, I do think this will strengthen right back again on the way out. A strong tropical storm, maybe even all the way to a low-grade hurricane if it has enough time. It depends how much of that shear hits it and how much of that storm goes over landfall. So here's your winds up here. You can see as you go by this morning, you still got some for southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, but then it goes towards Cuba. And after Cuba, you see how it somewhat stays weak on your winds after that. It is going to be a raining event and a flooding event with the surge as well. So just be aware of that. But after you deal with Oscar and Nadine, we still got this pattern coming in where we have chance for formation and chance for a stronger storm to form. And you can see this here in increments. So there's Oscar getting pulled out in five days, six days going away. Then we started getting our next system coming into the Caribbean when we go nine, 10 days. Then we started getting our pattern where we have a high pressure building over here. We have a trough and a ridge here and it could go anywhere to this direction or go to this direction if the high pressure moves over as well or if it blocks this way and helps it goes into that pattern. So we're going to a tricky pattern soon and you can see how this is getting pulled up through the north, trying to curve east, trying to curve west. Still, very beginning of November, we have a strong storm, everybody. Now here's one of the worrisome parts that I'm starting to see is these models are starting to trend now what is potentially happening late October, beginning of November. So here's a Euro showing that you could potentially get this cutoff low start coming, which we know could pull these systems further into that direction as well. And you can see we're starting to get this high pressure build bringing all the tropical moisture into that region where everything gets pinched into a motion like this. Do you see that? So as we go back, try and see a trend, 180 hours with the Euro, 180 hours with the GFS, showing about the same pattern. So the Euro sees that this gets pulled up as well. Something could possibly form in this area. And then you watch this high pressure. It kind of moves a little bit towards the east. But look how everything trains into this, this location. Now, when you get a cutoff low or a deep trough like this with this system, it will pull it into that direction. You can see the same thing with the GFS. As we go late October, everything gets pulled into that direction. And then beginning of November, the high pressure pulls away a little bit. It's still too far to know where this is going to form, whether it goes out through that direction or whether we're going to have a moment in this direction. So we need to watch this next pattern because it's looking like a lot of anomalies that could really favor a certain direction on this storm. I don't want to say where it could possibly go. We just need to watch it because it could be bad. To try and go by a trend, you go by a third party to Canadian. Canadian's seeing the same thing. We're getting all this buildup of tropical moisture. We're getting this high pressure, and the Canadian shows that the high pressure is further towards the east. That would allow for this system to go into this direction. There's many directions it can go, but also confirming that we're going to get a deep trough with a system coming down, and this could pull it further towards the west. It could pull it further towards the north. Depends where this storm on this trough is going to be, because this is going to impact this system, but they're all seeing the same pattern. So showing as we go into late October, things are going to start forming by Central America again into the Western Caribbean and start getting pulled into the east, northeast. But some of them show that we're going to get maybe a high pressure block to where a high pressure will come down and these systems won't be able to go nowhere. It'll just build up a little bit and then maybe go out through the east. Showing literally as we look at the ensembles in 10 days, you're more likely the outcome is this one up here. Showing it could be something weak and it could get pulled out. But you see how once again, how you get that high pressure block and that could either create a stall, go out through the east or go out through the west. On this one, the control member takes it out further to the east, northeast. But when you look at this, a few ensembles earlier, you can see that it potentially could go to the west. If that high pressure moves over and opens up that gate, you see it in a few of these that that could go to the west. Matter of fact, showing that we could go into this pattern and get a few of these. So we're dealing with what's over here for Oscar. And as we go towards the end of October, something could be coming into our direction and the beginning of November. We could have multiple storms forming as we go late October into November.
and still showing we have a very strong anomaly coming in with the euro for late october into november and all this is into our category everyone this is going to be some strong favorable environment and we have some lift coming through from our mjo showing that we're going to be going through rising motion as we go through late october into november as this is passing by we have a good chance for this storm to form. Now, Oscar's been taken, obviously, so the next name, if that system does form, will be Patty. And if something forms where it is too, like GFS is seeing, it would be Raphael after that. Now, real quick, as we have this cutoff low still bringing all this snow to the higher elevations, it is bringing chances for severe weather as you go through this evening. Coming up for New Mexico, really strong. And then as you go for tomorrow, and this moves over, it's bringing more chances for these thunderstorms and maybe a chance for a tornado. Showing when you look by your significant tornado perimeters, it factors in everything, for, gives you a good chance for a tornado. That is going to be stronger as you go through the evening for New Mexico than it would be for tomorrow. Showing you still have the chance for the tornadoes for tomorrow, mostly for western Kansas. But you see for today, it's showing the setup, the dew points, the wind shear, everything is really, really strong and really ripe for chances for tornadoes for today. So for today, you do have a 2% and a 5% chances for tornadoes for New Mexico. And so far, here's your cities and states at risk. And you can see for tomorrow as that moves further towards the east, it's going to involve Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. So here's your cities and states at risk for a chance for a tornado for tomorrow within a 25-mile point. Now, real quick before I go, Proverbs 8, 32 through 36. This is Jesus speaking now, therefore, hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction, and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is a man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me, wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me, love death amen and that is so true everyone i see so many people out there that just wants destruction they just want it so badly it's unbelievable and when you don't forecast terrible destruction they actually get mad at you so i really pray for these people that they find favor with our lord and they get peace in their heart because one in destruction is exactly the opposite way that you should be going i wish the best for every single one of y'all and remember all glory goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh, and I always hope he keeps you safe every single day of your life and forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you in the morning.